Okay, here we can see the front offside corner of the Vixen. Um, for the sake of clarity, I've removed the wheel arch, which is fairly easy to do. It's uh, bracketed in two or three different places. So, those that are familiar with 1960s racing cars will spot the classic suspension setup of unequal length wishbones. Uh, the top wishbone is peculiar to TVR and is fitted with polyurethane bushes and there's a top ball joint here which is adjustable changing the distance between the top pivot and the top wishbone will influence the camber angle. Now originally the cars were fitted with what today we would call very high profile tyres. Um, they were 80 profile 165 80 15s and also their construction was such that the suspension was set with some degree of positive camber. Uh, modern tyres don't require that kind of setting and so here I've set the suspension although you can't see it obviously with uh, neutral camber but I'm going to cover that in more detail on how you set the suspension up in a, in a separate video but essentially the, the items of setting that you can adjust here are the camber angle via this top ball joint and the toe in or toe out via the steering arms uh, this is set with a very slight amount probably 20 minutes of arc of toe in you'll see that I've covered the adjustment thread with uh, rubber just to, to stop that corroding and keeping the dirt out Okay. Also, you'll notice uh, this fairly shiny anti-roll bar. This is a um, standard anti-roll bar, or at least standard now, because you can't get the original ones, as fitted to Triumph, Herald and Spitfire and Vitesse. So that was actually supplied to me by Rimmer Bros. It's completely standard. Um, the, di the external diameter of the uh, tubing is, uh, well it's solid bar rather than tubing, is 11 sixteenths of an inch. So that's probably a little bit stiffer than the original, which was more like uh, 5 eighths. Uh, that's been mounted to the car with Superflex bushes, which are polyurethane. And crucially, in order to fit this anti-roll bar, I had to do away with the standard drop links that were supplied by TVR, which were in fact Spitfire ones that have been cut and shut. Um, as you'll notice, I'm using the rose jointed anti-roll bar drop links, which allow for much more adjustment and of course they're much more workmanlike, they don't have the same squidginess or flex in the actual bushing since there aren't any bushes, they're, they're rose joints and uh, in order to fit that, those drop links I've used I think 11 or 12 washers with longer bolts uh, the bolts are grade 8 or grade 10 um, but the car really could be used without an anti-roll bar. It would be interesting for any owner to try it without and then try it with and see how much difference it makes. And there is an argument on whether you should uh, control the roll of the car with springs or the anti-roll bar. My view is you control it with anti-roll bar and use the springs to uh, set the, sus the suspension hardness and softness. 
So, um, the bottom wishbone is TVR only, not sourced from any other vehicle. The brake calipers are the 16PB Girling uh, calipers, or 16P if, if you source them from an earlier source. Um, they use Imperial bolts, whereas the M16 calipers that you might find on, say, a Mark II Escort uh, or later cars are metric bolts. So 16 PB for the calipers. Um, you'll notice the brake discs are non-standard. They are the same physical size, but they've been cross-drilled and grooved. Um, just to improve their um, braking ability. So the, the discs are, are quite good for this car really in terms of it, the weight, the overall dry weight of uh, Series 3 Vixen is around 800 kilos and the stopping power of the um, 10 and a half inch front disc is, is not too bad really for that weight of car. Uh, the steering rack is from Triumph Spitfire Herald. The only things that are difficult to get really on the front suspension are the steering arms which we can't quite see at the moment. So the steering arms connect the front upright which is um, Drum Brake Herald, 1256 Drum Brake Herald, connected to the Herald Spitfire rack. So those steering arms are a little bit difficult to get although I suspect Nowadays it's actually easier to get some of these parts than it was 20 years ago when I was first working on this car because people are now manufacturing these, these special parts. Okay, so that's a bit of a summary of the front suspension. Next job is to introduce the damper and spring.